Hey fam, so I'm not sure what happened with the live, but it won't let me stream. <laughs> so we'll try it again. Um, in the meantime, I felt kind of bad. Um, one of our fam in the stream was wanting me to react to I agree with Gucci Mane about Eminem. What was Pharaoh saying about this? So I'm going to go ahead and listen. And we'll go from there. So I come across this interview with this brother Gucci Man on the Ricky Smiley show. Y'all know the Ricky Smiley who's son. <laughs> that Ricky Smiley. So I guess he's trying to do his little morning show shit on time joiner and uh rest Paul, rest Paul in the morning. You know, doing his little gig, you know, like you got Gucci Mane on here, and I don't believe the nigga even was at the interview. I don't know if he was there and left, had a merch, he never showed up. Maybe he's there, I gotta take a shit. Man, Gucci, hold on, man, Gucci coming in. Now, nah, hell, fuck that nigga, I gotta go, we gotta take a shit. <laughs> and dipped off. Shit, it was funny, because me and my sister was just talking about the brat the other day, and then I'm, I'm do this video and see her ass. Hey, 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 The brat. I remember the brat makes that, that's how I'm, God, I give it to you. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Now she on here doing the little Angela E on the Ricky Smiley. I ain't gonna give it here to rumors. <laughs> and they got Gucci Man on here with this little DJ brother. I don't know who these other niggas are. But they get into this conversation talking to Eminem's brother. You got people saying Eminem the king of rap. You know, who would you say to disagree with that Gucci Man? And shout out to the, this brother. Is, or excuse me, this video is a shout out to the brother Gucci Man. Keeping it 100 on it. I gotta come up with a better title than that. Oh, no. I don't come up with a better title than that. <laughs> Exactly. Well, honey, bro. Thanks for keeping it one. This ain't me being no. I'm not. A How are you gonna come up with a better title when his name is Marshall Mathers? It's two M's. But yet, your name is Gucci Mane, named after clothing. Gucci Mane. That I'm pretty sure Gucci Mane doesn't own Gucci, so I don't think that's keeping it a hundred, but that's just me. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if Fam knew that I was gonna <sighs> not be too happy about this, but when you pick on somebody for their name, Eminem's name is derived not from eating candy or because his habit of eating M&M's, he doesn't eat them. They're sent to him by the barrel and he's asked everybody to stop sending him M&M's. But his name is Marshall Mathers. Even the Eminem company or Mars company wanted to sue Eminem because they felt that he was an infringement on their <clears throat> trademark. And he's like, no, I'm not. So he went ahead and spelled it almost phonetically. Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Take the M, take the M. And now he's even got a little bit trickier by flipping the E. So, I don't know what else you want him to come up with, but you have to actually have a comparable name, if not a better name. If you want to come back, I mean, at least his name is original. When I think of Gucci Mane, I don't think of a rapper. I think of clothes, women's clothes to be exact. I think of J-Lo, um monster-in-law when Jane Fonda had such a fetish for Gucci clothes. That's who I think of. I'm just saying. Huge. The last song I heard from Gucci Mane was Lemonade. Same me being no huge Gucci. He was number one. No niggas gonna come over with the Lemonade. Oh, nigga, you late. Yeah, that song and that song and that CD. Like, nah. I ain't no huge Gucci Mane fan. I, fan. I don't listen to everything, support everything you do. In this situation, I'm keeping it 100 on this interview, not being scared of what king of rap. <laughs> you know when you got a lot of these other niggas probably on here. Yeah, yeah, him and he's to go. He's here. He is all the other go. Yeah. yeah. Waving their hands. Yeah. I guess it's feet if he was here. <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. 
Y'all gonna see my countless videos of this shit. And I'll keep making I will keep I want my message to echo. <laughs> Get out. It will echo because it'll be an empty hall. <laughs> so yeah, I was wondering why I was watching this. It sounded at first, I thought this was a parody of something. I was looking, I was kind of looking down, like, what, what's happening here? I mean, prop, props to uh, you. You've got definitely a good amount of subs. But, I mean, this is just, in fact, it should just be called Hater Nation. For real, for real. So, I don't know. Does he have any other artists of any other ethnicity besides just Gucci Mane that he talks on because I don't know I mean I don't just talk on M I like to celebrate people who have talent and that are legendary so just saying when you have the accolades it's usually because you have the qualifications for those accolades I don't know. I guess we just hand out trophies for kids who show up to soccer games, so it may be different now. Out there. He is not the key. Let's dead this shit. Let's put this shit to bed, people. Let my people help put this shit to fucking bed. This dude being the goat, the king. Oh, now I say ain't no best. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you like who you like, man. But when you start giving these motherfuckers time, I just don't understand where these titles come from. What has this dude done? Y'all ain't sold a lot of records. Yeah, you can contribute a lot of them fucking sold records to Dr. Dre. His producing behind the shit that y'all probably wouldn't even be listening. Don't nobody listening to Eminem before Dr. Dre got a hold of him. He was already rapping and battle rapping and shit, supposedly. Right over in eight now. Under arms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Fuck out of here, man. So this guy, he's probably in his late 20s. So he probably has no idea who Eminem is. The fact... The fact is, is um, Dre was on his way, and he stated that before, out the door when he heard the mixtape or whatever it was of Eminem and asked for Jamie Iovine to find Eminem. They met, and that very hour, if not day, they laid tracks. Everything that Dre put out Eminem made sure he had rhymes for. When Dre is willing to put his career on the line for somebody, I think that person has talent. If I have to go back through my list of why Eminem is considered one of the greats, just, just for argument's sake, I'll tell you this. Because I don't think it's going to matter. What I say is not going to change this person's mind. He sounds very much stuck in some kind of rut of the past that I've heard so many times before. If you don't like Eminem, then there's no way that you can like any of the goats, any of the legends of hip hop. There's no way that you're going to like jay-z or you're gonna like tupac or you're gonna like biggie or you're gonna like andre 3000 or ll cool j um big pun you're not gonna like any of those because or nas eminem took from all of them ice t ll cool j like i said jay-z even rock him hopefully um, shout out to you unk tay hopefully i said that right even Rock Him, whom I consider the top of the top of the top, has spoken on M's name. So when you ask who is shouting out these titles, well, you <laughs> look at the top of the mountain because that right there signifies who is stating who is still valid in hip hop. So it's not just common folk and people that are in hip hop. We're talking legendary status. So I don't I don't know. This actually hurts my ears because I feel like this is a MGK type argument. 
made that uh, soundtrack for that damn movie, and now people trying to use it. They, they say inspiration for white boys. <laughs> I can rap too, man. Now he's the one pushing that damn body movie. Now he's saying, hey, I can get other white boys to rap. I'm not going to be the only one, because he's the only one with that kind of success. It's not a lot of other ones. Might have been some other ones that had a little bit of su uh, success. No, they don't have that huge success. They don't have a machine. Got Dr. Dre, Leo Cohen, Jimmy Iovine, all the motherfuckers, power heavy hitters. <laughs> You know, in the music industry, backing him up, please. He rich as fuck. But some. Did you not realize that M has also been in the game for 20 plus years? And the amount of static that M has had to put down and how much M has had to cut through. And obviously, this guy doesn't know how many white rappers there are. There's many, as all of you, my fam has told me about. You guys told me about Bubba Sparks and uh, Logan Paul, Paul Logan. Um, uh, there's Logic, there's Token, I think. There's lots of mixed. I mean, you can't, you can't be mixed and claim one half and not the other half. So... We'll, we'll come back to that. But there's a lot of white rappers. There's Yellow Wolf. Um, and you're right. They're, they don't have the success that M has because... I don't see those white rappers wanting to tear apart people or outright get in those uh, other rappers' bubbles the way that M does. M's not afraid to. M is willing to die for his art. He, I mean, he's, he is. He, this is what he's passionate about. This is what he lives for. This is what he wakes up every morning wanting to do. So if you're going to speak on somebody, you got to at least know facts. you got to at least know some kind of back history because you just end up sounding like a hater. I mean, even Tory Lanez knew that. That's why he apologized to Royce to 5'9", because... Royce was like, hey, you sounded good too, my guy, you know, no disrespect. And even Tori had to take a step back, like, I do sound like a hater. Well, I mean, is there no lesson there for you to learn there? Somehow, <sighs> because he sold a lot of albums, and, and I'm just trying to understand, for those who are really trying to stand on this, he's the king of rap shit, what has he said that... that transcended or changed your life or impacted your life where you just like this nigga is the king he is the king how how many times has somebody had to tell you that it's been um his lyrics his inspirational um songs i mean open a newspaper i mean i go through my blogs i've told you that there was a there's even a youtuber that translated a hundred of Eminem's songs into a classical masterpiece, which classical music in of itself has been statistically proven to enhance children at a young age, their IQ level. So now you want to go against science. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, Eminem's music changed Ed Sheeran's life, who is another artist, by the way because he stuttered. I don't know if stuttering has anything to do with color. Um, Ed Sheeran is not a rapper, he is a singer. And he, it, coincidentally, his dad bought him the Marshall Mathers uh, or Slim Shady LP, I don't, I don't know, I can't remember. And Ed Sheeran memorized it front to back and no stutter and he's a singer and he's quite a success. There's autistic children whose mothers are at the end of their wits who have their children listen to Eminem. I've, I've made a, a, a blog about it. I made a video blog about it. These are inspirational stories. There's people that have been at low points in their life. That's not something to scoff at. That's not something to snub your nose at. These are facts just like a lot of other artists, but since you're jabbing at Eminem, okay, then I guess we have to talk about Eminem. Why so sore? 
Why so sore? I thought the whole point of saying that you're the rap king or the rap god was so that other people would come out, have better music, and then they do this rap battle and we all win as fans to get this kind of amazing music. But all you're doing is saying, prove it to me, prove it how I don't see it, and Gucci Mane is right, and okay. I want you to tell me what isn't proven. I see it in comments. How his music uplifted people, how his music helped them kick addiction, whether it be drugs, alcohol. Uh, they were at low points in their lives, and he, he gave them the strength to keep going. He's not talking about jewelry, money, cars, nothing that relates to me. He was talking about himself and his struggles. And a lot of people had those same struggles regardless of color. So is it that he is white? Is it a Caucasian male? Is that what bothers you? It shouldn't. Because you just sat here, here listening to this nigga on the track. And, 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 and I can't take a shit in the bathroom without someone standing by it. <laughs> like what? He's on a teeny tiny little round tiny half homosexual sex. What? After I heard that dumbass Rain Man song, I was done with that fucking dude. Should I see my brother Town Business video? I agree a hundred percent. That Rain Man song, I was like, this dude has officially just ran out of gas. And you could tell his I, I bought this dude's first four albums. I bought the first three, but I, I bought the fourth one too, but I just threw that out and just excommunicated that I don't even consider bottoms. Actually, regretting to this day that I bought that shit and let that shit pierce my, that stupid ass verse pierce my ears. I'm mad that I can even remember it. You know what I'm saying? Half homosexual sex. It's teeny tiny little rap, honey. What? Like, what is that? I don't even remember the whole verse. Don't come on here, try. You don't know what he was talking about in the whole, what kind of stupid ass verse? Talk about a teeny tiny little round height. And talk about it, it's something he's he slipping, he's slipping, he's selling, he's slipping. Like, what is he talking about, bro? This is the shit y'all crying the goat. Man, what you mean? <laughs> well, that was a long time ago, and M has progressed. I mean, he's on his, what, 10th album, going on his 11th? And you're going to tell me that from 20-something years ago, that people have... Their discography has been perfect. And it's actually a genre, it's called humor. And there's lots of genres inside the hip hop rap. There's horror, there's humor, there's all kinds of stuff. I think some, um, some M has even made up and it's now a legit genre. So just because you didn't, I mean, there's music I listen to. I don't like every single track. I mean, you're welcome to not like a track, but just to hate one particular track and throw the whole album out. I mean, that's your personal preference. There might be something that, I don't know, uh, one song is better than another song that Bone Thugs and Harmony does. I'm not going to throw out the album. That's insane it does that absolutely doesn't make any sense it's just you want to throw out the album throw out the album but don't put your opinions on everybody else and try to make it seem like everybody else is dumb for their choice of artist that way we don't have to try to prove to you anything we can just go on i mean if you want to have your opinion that's fine but you can't tell us that he doesn't have any credibility for being here. It, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. There's facts all day long. I've only been five minutes in, and I think I've probably talked more since than your whole entire video. 
You've been laughing and wheezing and rambling and quoting more than you've given any facts at all and hating. So. When you got outcasts and brothers, oh my, only so much time in this crazy world. I'm just crumbling up. That and you're going to tell me that Outkast didn't make any weirdo song? I think Outkast made what? Roses smell like boo boo. And I love Outkast, but you're not going to sit there and tell me that they haven't made some kind of weird references either. But I love Outkast, and I would never throw out anything by them at all. So. I don't know. Is this going how however who who asked me to react to this because this is hilarious to me. I I wish this was live and I could talk to this person. That real shit, that smooth shit that resonate with you. You know what I'm saying? Now that teeny tiny little round thing. <laughs> what? That Now, if maybe if he was talking about Lupe Fiasco cuz I think that is what He's maybe referring to, to me, that is very smooth. I I haven't listened to every album by Lupe, but I can't see him talking on any humorous subject. But what is wrong with humor? Is there something wrong with humor? I love to laugh. Do you guys not love to laugh? Just saying. And didn't Andre 3000 come from the ATL? Same as Gucci Mane? So now if if artists don't come from the ATL is so they're just whack now. This is what I'm surmising. So I need you guys to clarify this to me. It was AR. Shout out to AR. Now I now I remember. AR wanted me to react to this or listen to this, but I, honestly I can't see 15 minutes of this, or 10 more minutes, I should say. Nine. Okay, what's that little skit on his album? Even on his album before. We like his wordplay and his metaphors. Like, bro, was saying, this nigga's in here trying to endorse it. Gucci man, tell him, huh? You running around listening to him, man? <laughs> you listening to it too, nigga? Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I be listening to him, man. Yeah, he come out with his shit, you know, motherfuckers download his little kamikaze, little diss track, all, all right. Dude, sitting here acting like he listened to the shit fake. Yeah, I listen to it, yeah, I'm listening now. And it's gone. Even his hits. <laughs> Riding around in your car. Like, really? Like, Gucci, right? That's what you ride around. Listen to, nigga. And these DJs, that's th these DJs scared. Be on there. If you say something about Eminem, they ain't getting no, no support. Now Ricky Smiley under fire. Yeah, that, that Dr. Dre is gone. I don't support Ricky Smiley. Why would DJs be under fire? It's always been M under fire. M has his own radio station, radio broadcast, because he's been so underplayed. But he's got fans like crazy because we see it through all this. You're not going to tell me that the corporations don't have, and I hate to use Gucci Mane as a front runner, but the people that they put out front, all the littles, little little dirt little punk little uber little dizzy little whoever we're supposed to buy all their stuff when it has no lyrical content and that is what the machine does push 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 bye 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 when we have real music that has been coming out and has been sufficient and stands the test of time for instance Aaliyah still love her music can still listen to it. It still is true. Still is beautiful. Can still dance to it. Feel good about it. I don't know what these women are talking about nowadays. Some of it is a little much. Leaves nothing to the imagination. I'm sorry. So, um,. And if you're going to talk on M, why don't you talk about things that are recent, not something from his past albums. But if you're going to have me defend those lyrics and those um, beats, well, okay. 
is, once again, is there something wrong with humor? So now we're going to hate on humor. Fuck that nigga. Don't listen to his shit. Of course that DJ ain't about to go in there and be like, I agree, that motherfucker ain't the good go. Stop getting on there with that scared shit. I'm happy this brother went on there and kept it one instead of going on in there, Eminem go. Nah, yeah, he go well, all hell to Eminem. Get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, and if anybody's watching this, does this uh, Pharaoh who, I obviously this must be his channel. Shout out to you, Pharaoh, um, for speaking your mind. You have every right to have your opinion. But you do know that Gucci sang the hook on Mariah, Mariah Carey's song, Obsessed, which was a, a diss to Eminem. And then before that, he had made a song towards her. And then when she released Obsessed, he did a, a diss track called The Warning. So Gucci Mane has every reason to not like Eminem. So it's I don't know if it's keeping it 100 more than it's keeping 100 percent hate. Bitch ass niggas, y'all the reasons. You other MCs, y'all the reasons why motherfuckers is running around here saying this shit. Cause they wasn't running. They talking about oh you gotta think you the best. Nah, it's niggas who don't think they the best. Cause they shit. They wasn't being heard. I believe Lupe Fiasco. It was a lot of cats who was going and trying to go with this dude. Eminem the goat king go rap. Get the fuck out of here. What made him the king? What made you? What song did you listen to from Eminem? Made him he the king. He the king. This nigga is the king. Maybe. I don't know. It could have been how many records he broke, and the fact that he broke records when he would rap so fast, and then he broke his own record. I think it was in Lucky You. There was a section in Lucky You where he actually broke his rap god record. And the fact that he he layers his wordplay, he layers his metaphors, his meanings. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to dig my paper back out and read exactly what's been published and verified by experts. Am I an expert? No. I'm just reading what experts have said. Experts who don't care if Eminem sold one record or sold a billion, they are listing the criteria for what makes a fine artist, whether it be a rapper, singer, um, whatever. And you gotta have all these box checked, not just once, twice, but multiple times. It has to become like second nature, so. Huh. To these white folks that that trailer park shit resonated with them. I don't know. How about I thought all the dude had good work? How about struggle? I don't I, is it just white people that live in trailer parks? Her play, some good metaphor, and some good rhymes, which he claims him to a good rapper. He's a good rapper. Never said he couldn't rap. But when you start putting that title and trying to give him the king of hip hop, somebody needs to come here who doesn't know of this earth and land, who, who is your king of hip hop? And you show him, is he the daddy little round, honey? No. No. No, you, that's who y'all, that's who we want representing hip hop. That's who we want challenging universe, universe 80s best hip hop artists. No, I don't want really Eminem challenging him. No, we have to get Jay Z and some. I'm not a big Jay Z fan, but let's get him. Let's get Andre 3000. Andre 3000. Somebody corrupt. Let's get somebody who is formidable. Not an Eminem going on there. Now I'm gonna talk about his head, shooting him with a mag. We wish my the world suck my dick with a condom while I'm on the job. No, we're not. So what about Fifty? Because obviously it's too embarrassing to have M do it, even though 50 is the one that said no matter who you put in the booth, you get M in there and he'll smoke them. I mean, he's had to prove it all his life, so. And, but if the shoe was reversed, if the shoe was on the other foot, would that be acceptable? I don't know. I'm not mad at all. It's just, it's exhausting. Talking, we have to. We don't win this battle. We're gonna die, motherfucker. 
No. I do not want Eminem representing our fucking hip hop. I don't know how you got up there in the first place, but you niggas endorsing that shit is the reason why. And I'm happy this brother, a figure, some type of figure, might not be the best one. Once again, I'm not on here in Gucci. He was number one. No. I'm just giving him props to what he got on here and like, huh? What? You right around listening to me. <laughs> Come on, little kiddies. Come on, like, guess who's back with a brand new rap? No. What? Even the stupid. Guess who's back, back, back again? Yeah. What? That song was so empty. Without me, it's a crack box guy for me. That song was stupid. How is that here? Why would you? What? Stop. I just. What world am I living in? The world is a sugar-coated topic. <laughs> There's another world beneath it. <laughs> what is going on with these niggas, bro? They endorsing it. No. I agree hundred percent. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over. I'm feeling it a little bit. And I'm just I'm just I just don't understand. I'm trying to understand like what this dude said to make motherfuckers crown this dude that saves the kid. Well, if you actually would listen instead of being so biased, because you're quoting old, old songs from old, old albums, and you're not listening to anything at all. And artists actually grow and, you know, um, not not only do they grow up, but they grow with their musical prowess. And, you know, M has grown up a lot, so he's not doing childish things like what he was before even though it was fun and a lot of people young people are able to go back and enjoy those classics they're called classics now a 17 year old actually just won a race the first 17 year old woman in history uh crossed the finish line listening to well the i'm the Sl i'm slim shady so i don't know that's pretty monumental unless you think that it doesn't matter if a woman w wins a NASCAR race or the K&N Pro Series. I think it is. That's why I commented on it. I'm all for empowering women no matter. I don't care what color you are. Being a woman is not easy at all. So. But to take shots at somebody's past records that did really well and you're asking well what lyrics made everybody change their mind I mean there's countless I can just get a whole room full of fans of Eminem and they can tell you you, you could hear it from them just saying he's the king of rap and then when you try to challenge somebody about it, like I do in my videos, still have yet to meet somebody who, who has said anything where I'm like, what? You have so many other great MCs, so many other great MCs. I agree with that. That didn't have Dr. Dre, didn't have Jamie Iveen and Leo Cohen and those cats behind them pulling the strings and making it the easy. What about Royce to 5'9"? Royce to 5'9 was so critically acclaimed that he his album, Book of Ryan, which is, I, I want to say in itself, is a 9.5 out of 10. And that's just for me. He literally got a 9.8 out of 10 from all the critics. That was a big F you to Marshall Mathers, but you don't see... Uh, Eminem getting mad. You don't see Candy getting mad. Royce to 5'9 is right there lyrically with Eminem. If not, they're, they're like brothers. And you don't ever see Royce to 5'9 getting crazy or saying, oh, I'm better than Eminem, blah, blah, blah. You know why? Because he's securing himself. Because it's called maturity. Um, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. These are the men that M proudly goes around. Um, Eminem has said before to Kendrick Lamar, I think you're the greatest. I 
I personally love J. Cole. I think J. Cole's doing really great. Kendrick Lamar, I'm starting to become a huge, huge fan. So, I don't know. I, I absolutely love a lot of artists. I'm the only one up there with, besides M and Joyner and Royce to 5'9 would be E40, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I don't know. I'm a fan of lyrics, but I'm also a fan of fun and humor. Ludicrous? I mean, you're going to tell me that Luda, Luda is not fun? So, I... This world is so full of downers, you know, and murder and mayhem. And I would like to laugh. I would like to not have everything be so serious, but you know, that's just me. Easy to get a show. Hooking these big concerts, selling out arenas and shit. Stop it, man. This dude had good resources. And that's what he got. Once again, you can't put it all on him. I get it. He had to rap at the end of the day. I just believe the dude ran out of gas. And his albums were not all that. And I bought the guy's albums. I listened to them to a T. And I believe the first one was his best one. And then slowly, not saying his other ones weren't, weren't good. They just weren't as as good as the first one. The rhymes, you can see it slowly start to decline. Little charge and spikes up. Then it just started to spike down. And people were still, oh, because he was white. Yeah, niggas, that's niggas. But he's white, yeah, it's going to be different. Oh, and this white, came white. out after Kamikaze. Mm. Not a go. He's a good rapper. I give him props. I've never said he couldn't rap. But when you start getting into that that title, that legend to go, eh, eh, stop. No, he ain't said, I've listened to the dude's CDs. He ain't said shit to me where I'm like, okay, the Eminem is one of them. Go, go, great to do this crown up, up, out, out, to the Eminem. Fuck out of here, man. That would be disrespecting Andre 3000. That would be disrespecting these niggas I listen to. Shit, I'm still listening to CLP Rock, CL Smooth out. Red Man, Corrupt. Shit, the Wu Tang. This niggas Wu Inspect the Deck is better than Eminem, than, way better than Eminem to me. Stop it. Says things that I'm like, damn, that nigga saying some shit. And it's. And M does love Red Man, and Red Man does love M. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. It. I understand now kind of what Pharaoh is saying. He wants people to stop saying that M is the rap god or rap king um, and to place it on Red Man and Andre 3000, uh, that wouldn't bother M at all. He's told Red Man that he believes that Red Man's better than him. M has stated his list time and time again. So I'm through all this hatred, I'm kind of going through it and I see what you're saying now, Farrell. I see how it bothers you. Um, M has never tried to take any of that glory away from the ones that came before or the ones that are um, pillars in hip hop. And for people to not bandwagon, but just be happy and proud of Eminem, that's because they were a fan of the underdog. They're a fan of what he came up from. Uh, he was, you know, basically abandoned by his father his mom severely abused him he was shuffled in foster homes um so he had really nobody to turn to um he had kim around him they ended up having <clears throat> Haley at a very young age he had to learn that guess what you only have a ninth grade education you're going to have to bust your ass to provide for a little child. And that's what gave him the kick in the ass that he needed to be somebody. He didn't want this fame. He just wanted to make enough to provide for her a better life. You know, but God has different plans for all of us. It's not for us to say, well, I just want to be like this. I just want to be this small little I just want to be just this much. I don't want to be this much. I just want to be this much. 
So I don't, I don't know what else to, I keep saying that and I keep finding things to tell you because I hear your argument a lot and I see your argument in the comments and everybody feels very comfortable bashing him. But if this were in f reverse, had it been we were talking, God forbid, ever to talk about Jay-Z because I am a fan of Jay-Z, or if I were to talk about Tupac, which <laughs> Tupac still is king here in California, still is king. But we do recognize M's talent. Do, does everybody? No, no. Does he need it? No. But I thought that times were changing, and I think a lot of people thought times were changing to where you were, you were um, judged based on your merit, based on your character, you know, kind of, kind of what your forefathers had wanted. But you know, it just seems like we're we're never going to get past that. So that's all. The future ruled by computer, I self tutor. It, what? For saying shit that resonates with your life, like man, like damn, I'm feeling that. As a man, especially now that I'm older, I've listened to it before and didn't understand. Now I'm older, I understand the music. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's always music to suit a mood. There's music for me uh, when I'm feeling just like I, in my feelings, when I'm feeling a certain kind of way, only Tupac's going to be able to talk to me. When I'm feeling a certain kind of way, you know, um, classical music, only instrumentation is going to be able to make me happy you know um when i just want to have fun and i just i'm feeling like i want to dance or i just i'm feeling just lit i'm going to listen to e40 or i'm going to listen to bone thugs and harmony because i'm just feeling happy i'm just feeling so good inside when i'm feeling a little bit like a rebel when i'm feeling a little bit pissed but i'm not really but i you know, somebody made me angry or my family is driving me bananas. Yeah, I'll listen to M because he tends to say the words that I want to say and it makes me laugh. He says cuss words in the most hilarious way and the most creative way. So don't don't take that from him, you know, and there's lots of <clears throat> inspirational songs that M has rapped about. Um, <clears throat> lose Yourself Till I Collapse is a completely motivational song. A lot of people have that on gym rotation. I hear it a lot. And then it's like you attack your own, your own community. Like, what is that? That's not being very positive. Why can't they like him? They can't like him. They, they have to just like somebody else. So now they're going to be closet Eminem fans. I mean, no, let them be. If I saw somebody picking on a child because a child wanted a certain type of, for instance, candy, she wanted a red lollipop and a little bully was saying, well, you only get the blue lollipop. You don't think that I would step in and say she's going to get whatever it is she wants because you don't need to be mean to her. If she wants the red, then let her have the red. What is the big deal? What is the big deal? That's simply all I'm trying to say is why is it why does it bother you so much? It, I mean, if you really cared so much to know why he is so revered, he has a long, long career. You can look it up. You can go to a place called Quora and look it up. Why is Eminem considered the greatest one of the greatest rappers? Go to Wikipedia. There's ways to find out, but it's like you want to just hear yourself talk and you just want to spread that negative viewpoint. And it's not right. I mean, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? And listen to it different. Saying things that res give me a chill where I'm like, damn, that shit just resonate with me. Get in touch with your emotions, man. Of course, I can't think of everybody, can't name them all, but that's who I consider the greats.
who rappers who can do that. Eminem has not done that to me. This is just me, my opinion, my analysis. You don't have to agree. It is what it is. But he has never had it. It hasn't been. When I listened to Eminem, it was more of a, uh, you know, just trying to listen to some shit to be, oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, that's cool. But when it's time to get serious and it's time to listen to some shit, there's some real shit, I'm not listening to Eminem. And that happens to be on to make you the king on my fucking list. You got to be, be on some, some other shit, man. You have to be able to transcend music in your, within your music. And it's a lot of people who can do that that doesn't, they don't get them, they don't get noticed. There's <laughs> a lot of great classic albums that don't get the exposure. Brothers and sisters, artists who don't get the exposure. And you get a white rapper who gets the one of the biggest, if not the biggest black producer back in them. You know, along with the biggest heavy hitters in the music industry back then. Oh yeah, it was set up for success. Of course it was. So let's we're gonna blame him for that. Dre and M worked together. They found each other, they helped each other. So we're gonna we're gonna start blaming every major successful artist now too. Are we gonna start going after um, Michael Jackson's success or Diana Ross's success or Stevie Wonder's success or Carlos Santana or Kid Frost or I mean what does a white rapper have to do with the success of anybody else's success he went to the only person that was going to help him he didn't have people lined up to see him. He lost sec he got second place at the Rap Olympics in LA with $40 to his name, no home. And somebody who sponsored him had to pay for his plane ticket. His life was in shambles. And he got second place at the Rap Olympics. <laughs> That's incredible. With the amount of stress placed on his shoulders. And an intern happened to ask him, he said, hey, you're pretty good. Can I get one of your tapes? And just kind of just kind of did this, like, just take, you know, get out of here, just whatever. That tape ended up being in a little basket full of other tapes. Dr. Dre, who even stated himself, who never even bothered with that basket, but was at the end of his rope because he knew that what he was putting out and, you know, pretty soon Jamie Iovine was going to have to tell him, Dre, this is not working out, man. The, you know, the higher ups, they're going to end up telling me I got to let you go. This was some serious stuff. He happened to listen to that. And he said, whoever this guy is, because Dr. Dre thought he was black. Thought Eminem was black. Whoever this guy is, bring him in. Bring him in. I want to see him. M had nothing. Nothing. And went in. So it could have been anybody. Do we not believe in God anymore? Do we not believe in fate? Or that sometimes after you pay so many dues... I, I would think so. I think that's called hope. After you're kicked for so long and you struggle to get to where you need to go and you're, you're really trying to just look out for your family, you get one chance. Yeah, that chance is Dr. Dre, but he had to prove I'm a good rapper, and he did. And then it's just hard work. The rest of the time. And he's rich because he's been working. So, I don't know. I, yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, I love, now I totally love Lupe Fiasco and, and I love listening to his albums. Um, I would have never heard that without the help of actually reaching out and starting a, a channel that I had no intention of ever doing, but I was, I went outside of my comfort zone. So I just don't, I just don't get it. 
everybody always takes shots at this one. <laughs> Who's gonna succeed? And like I said, there was no, if you can tell, because there is no other big rapper, white rapper that is on his level. It's been other, let me ask her, Rob, and these other little white cats come out. Oh, nope, nope, uh-uh. They have not been on his, he's the only one on that level. And that's why you somehow got this motherfucker being crowned the king of rap based off of him getting on track, seeing a whole bunch of bizarre. And if I was just a little baby boy, my mama used to talk about his mom. And then uh, I really, I, I'm, I'm sorry, mama, I'm cleaning out my closet. Saying a whole bunch of bizarre shit, man. And now that I'm sitting here, I'm just like, what? The fuck out of here, man. I just don't understand it. I know I'm just ranting to you guys. I'm sorry. So y'all feeling it. Man, good night tonight. But once again, you can feel free to put it in the comments. What has this dude said for you to crown him the king or the goat of anything? Shout out to Gucci man for keeping it real, keeping it 100. You niggas better get out of the twilight zone. Wake up, go do your research, go listen to some, look up, a, you know, YouTube and look up an 80s golden era hip hop uh, mixtape so you can listen to some of these brothers and sisters, these MCs, and don't just be, oh, it's old music. Give them a chance. Listen to the bars and you'll better I bet it resonates with you if you give it a chance. And you'll hear some of these brothers and sisters who, who were great before, way before you even heard of even Eminem was even thought of. And they not getting, they didn't sweat that shit out. They gave you who they wanted. Now motherfuckers is eating that up. No, there are too many other great greats out here. Too many other brothers and sisters out here. How about go search for 80s and 90s music, musical talent, before there was mumble rap? Up a, get on YouTube and look up an 80s golden era hip hop uh, mixtape so you can listen to some of these brothers and sisters, these MCs, and don't just be, oh, it's old music. Give them a chance. Listen to the bars. And you, I, bet, I bet it resonates with you if you give it a chance. And you'll hear some of these brothers and sisters who, who were great before, way before you even heard of even Eminem was even thought of. And they not getting, they didn't sweat that shit out. They gave you who they wanted. Now motherfuckers is eating that up. We take Eminem. No, there are too many other great greats out here. Too many other brothers and sisters out here. Too many other great artists to acknowledge. Yes, most of them are black. Sorry, we happen to run this shit. We created this shit. We started this shit. Ain't got anyone want to talk this hip hop. Ain't got nothing to do with the dude being fucking white. Got something to do with the dude not being a not being the fucking king of rap. When it comes to something like that, no, you can't skip over all these other great MCs to crack. Hey fam, what do you think? Do you think he knows the history of hip hop? Because Harvey Dent sure did give us a whole KRS One video that's three hours long, fam. I only gave you the breakdown of, I think it was 20 minutes. And I thought it was about unity, peace, and love. I thought it was all inclusive. So, I don't know this this fucking white dude based off some crazy ass of uh, couple albums he didn't put out stop it man it's, it's just, it gets more and more ridiculous the more I keep repeating peace okay guys um I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up I have to respond I'm gonna go ahead and leave a comment and then I'm gonna leave my link so that hopefully maybe he and I can talk about this or have a friendly debate about it because um, I, I definitely don't agree and I feel that had Eminem even have been a Mexican maybe he would have stood a better chance I don't know why don't you guys tell me what you think maybe um, Maybe I'm wrong, and and fam, feel free to disagree with me if you guys think that he's not basically calling out M on his color and calling out M because M is not not fit to even have a title of rap king or rap god or he he doesn't compare to even any of the greats. So just let me know. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. Hey, 
we've had a couple people disagree in the comments and I applaud you guys for not getting heated. You guys just agree to disagree. And I appreciate that. And same thing. I just, I say the same thing. I agree to disagree and I give you my feedback and you guys give me your feedback and we just move on because it's, it's not that serious. But what is serious is if we keep judging each other based off color that is not okay that has never been okay i'm not going to accept that and i don't want to hear bullshit about i'm not judging him off his it's had nothing to do with him being white has everything to do with uh because he's just not that good and okay because then you're insulting my intelligence and everybody else who is a fan. So then I am going to get in my feelings about it. I love you guys. It's late and I hope you guys have a dope morning tomorrow. As you know, of course, we all work. I'm a nurse, so I got to work and I got kiddos and things to do, but I am going to try to get through these videos. A lot of you requested music. I can't believe it. Could it be music by somebody who is a little bit lighter than most? I love you guys. I'm going to go. Shout out to Pharaoh and his dope channel. If you blow up, even bigger, dude.